Here we are again. Jets won two in a row. You know, if I come on here and rant about when they play bad, I obviously got to come on here and give them praise when they do well. Listen, everyone know first half, not so good, stunk it up. But I give Jets credit, man. I give the Jets credit in the second half, how they tighten up. They adjusted. It seemed like in the second half for the first time all year, the Jets actually came out and adjusted and looked good in the second half, in particular the third quarter, something that they haven't done all year. Now, granted, it was the Cleveland Browns team that's 0-7, but, but they did look good in the second half, Ryan Fitzpatrick. I think the, the key to me was the running game and giving Ryan Fitzpatrick, you know, spots to make plays. Clearly, you saw what the, what the Jets wanted to do. Heavy dose of Matt Forte, Bilal Powell, who they need to get, give him the ball more. Clearly, every time Bilal Powell touches the ball between him and, and Quincy Anuwa, they make plays. They need to give their, they need to get the ball into the into the hands of their playmakers more. This offense is a lot better when it's in when the ball's in the hands of Bilal Powell, Quincy Anunwa, Robbie Anderson starting to come around. So give the Jets credit where credit is due. They ran the ball. Um, you know, they minimized the quarterback. Fitz did play well in the second half. And the defense, second week in a row, man. Second week in a row, turnovers. If you notice the past couple of weeks, the things the Jets have done well. I think, listen, all the rest of the year, they're going to get burned on the secondary. I think there's no question about that. There's nothing the Jets can do about that right now. They're going to give up big plays in the secondary. That's just what the trend is with the Jets. But what I will say, second week in a row, they've gotten multiple turnovers, something that they didn't do. You know, it seemed like the first, you know, five or six weeks of the season. So, you know, if you're the Jets right now, listen, you're three and five. I still, I still contend. I still say that this team, this team is not a postseason team. But what I will say is, if they follow this formula that they, that the way they won today and the way they won last week against Baltimore, not turn the ball over, getting turnovers on defense, running the football, really had the offense going through. You know, Matt Forte, Bilal Powell, Quincy Nuwa. If the offense continues to go through those guys good things tend to happen to this ball club. So, again, like I said, man, this, this second half, you know, first half, man, it was, it was looking ugly. But uh, the second half, they came out, made adjustments, looked good, ran the ball, defense stepped up, got a couple turnovers. Quincy Newall, man. Man, listen, I, that dude, man, it, that dude is going to be a monster. I, I've, I've said it before on Twitter, and I'll say it again. I think he's the best offensive player on the team. Every time he touched the ball, and I know he had a couple drops today, but this dude is still growing into his role. But every time Quincy touches the ball, he makes things happen. He's just a mismatch nightmare, big guy. I think a lot of people underestimate his his quickness and his strength and speed. So, just need to continue to develop him, give him the ball. Robert Anderson seems like he's coming along. Sharon Pete is getting more touches. So I think from the long-term view with the Jets, that's really encouraging, man. But for right now, if the Jets is just continue to not make mistakes on offense, don't turn the ball over. Run the football. Get turnovers on defense. That's how you're going to win games, man. So – you know, with that being said, man, y'all y'all holler at me, man. I'm, being, I'm on Periscope. I want to see what y'all have to say about the game and where the Jets, you know, where the Jets are this season, where y'all think they're headed. So fire away. Don't everybody shoot me questions all at one time. You know, I'm here to talk. Will the Browns win a game? I think the Browns will win a game. You know, I said I said earlier in the season. The one thing about the Browns, they play hard. Um, you know, it's hard to it's hard to change a coach on you know a culture like the Cleveland Browns, but they're playing hard. They got a good head head coach in Hugh Jackson. So, I think at some point they will win a game this year. I don't know when, but they'll win a game. Hey, listen, man. I've been you know I've been one of the harshest critics on Fitz. 
Um, you know, his just his propensity to turn the ball over. But, man, he took a hellacious shot in the first half, man. So for him to bounce back and really play the clean game. I mean, that's what you want out of fits. Just play clean, man. Get the, you know, distribute the ball, get the ball in the playmaker's hands. You do that, man, good things happen to you. Man, Brick is in retirement, man. Brick Brick over here like me sitting in retirement. He, I don't think Brick wants any part of what's going, what's going on with the team. But the offensive line, you know, they, they, they block well at times, but that's, that's definitely an issue um, that's going to be addressed moving forward. Well, listen – Draft the QB in the first round. It depends on what the, what the Jets are drafting. If they're if they're picking high enough and one of the you know elite QBs are sitting right there, obviously you got to go for it. But you're gonna have to see at some point this season if the if the season starts falling apart, you got to start seeing what Petty and 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 have what you have in those guys, so you know what what direction you want to go in the off season, whether it be the draft or free agency. What else we got, guys? Yeah, I played the stock market, man. Please, I'm always trying. I'm always maximizing my dollars. Um, no, I don't. No, I don't think uh, Petty should be getting. Should be getting. Uh, if the Jets keep winning, then no, Petty. Petty probably shouldn't be getting starts unless Fitzpatrick is really playing bad. Then obviously you put Petty in. How about making uh, Bilal Powell the feature back? You know, I don't think he's a featured guy. You know, the one thing about him, he's he's he has such a slight build. He's a very explosive guy, but I think if you give him too many touches, he'll wear down quick. So uh, he needs more touches, but I don't think he's a feature guy. Do I think Dalvin Cook would tear it up in the NFL next year? Yeah, he, he look like a monster. You know, he's one of those backs where he can, you know, carry the load. He can catch it out of the backfield. And and the thing that I've been impressed with, he can block. If you can do that, you're good. Yeah, Biggie Smalls, yes, I've heard that a thousand times. I actually, my rookie year, um, my initiation, I did, like, basically a whole album, you know, rapping Biggie Smalls. So, yeah, I've heard that. Why can't teams knock Brady out of the game? Patriots are a good team, man. Brady gets the ball out as quick as anybody in the league. And when you got all those weapons, it's just hard to really get to them. No, I'm not going to rap right now. No, not right now. This is PG. This is PG-13, man. What happened to Devin Smith? I'm, I'm sure he's going to get activated at some point. So um, I would say in the next couple of weeks, he's been practicing. So let's see what he got. I don't freestyle, man. That's not my style. What position should we should we um, focus on? Listen, if you're the Jets, if you're finishing, you know, at, at the top of the draft, um, you got to pick the best available. It's not. I don't think it's a position of need. You just need really good players. That's what you do when you're drafting at the top. <laughs> How Brady killing your fancy football team, man? The cat is just tearing it up right now. No, I don't think Fitz is not gonna get another contract with the Jets. He might get it from somewhere else, but I don't. It, I don't. I doubt it will be with the Jets, though. I haven't paid attention to many of the offensive linemen in, in, in the um, in the draft. That's something that, as we get closer to the end of the year, uh, once the season's over with, then that's something that I'll start looking at more. But you probably have to ask the draft guys more about that. Would I trade Joe Hayden if, if you're the GM? Um, if you could, if you could get some for him, but who's really going to trade for Joe Hayden? Joe Hayden has been beat up, beat up, battered, bruised. I don't know if anyone will really trade for Joe Hayden, especially that contract. Who do I got tonight? Cowboys or Eagles? I got the Cowboys. Plus, if I don't pick the Cowboys, man, my wife will go crazy. She's a huge Cowboys fan, so I got the Cowboys. Why doesn't Revis press as much as he used to? Man, listen, man, speed kills, man. When you're scared, people will run by you, you know. I think that's exactly why you don't see Revis pressing up there. I, what can the Jets give for Sheldon Richardson? A lot. 
I would say the, the only thing that that would probably hold up something like that is the fact that he's one suspension away from being out of, uh, being out a whole year. But you know, everyone know, man, Sheldon Richardson is talented, one of the best D linemen in the league. I am a good dude, man. What you see is what you get. I just keep it real. Can Revis switch to safety safety to prolong his career? I don't know, man. I, I, I really don't know. You know, part of the thing about safety is you got to be a really good tackler. Um, that's one thing that I've seen, you know, drop off in his game is he hasn't been as sure a tackler as I've seen uh, in the past. Plus, safety is just a whole different monster. So, Reeves might just be one of those guys that's just cut out, you know, cut out to be a cornerback. Man, you know I despise kickers, man. There's only one kicker that has always been that's always been true with me, man. Is that and that's Adam Vinatieri. Got me two rings, so you know that's the one guy I'm always gonna keep it real with. We don't know if the Jets got an answer at QB. I mean, we haven't seen Bryce and we haven't seen Christian out there, so we won't know until they get out on the field. It's one thing to take mental reps, but I need to see guys out there with the bullets flying. You, everybody asks me this question all the time. Do I root for the Jets? No, I don't root for the Jets over the Pats. Do I talk about them more? Yes, because I like live like two minutes from the facility. But I don't root for the Jets over the, over the Pats. People know when they see my Twitter, when the Jets and Pats play, I stay neutral. I don't say anything. There's nothing quick about a Rex Ryan story, man. I got two minutes to tell you, but all I can say is, man, one of the coolest head coaches that I've ever played for. Um, plus, like I said, man, this is a PG-13 deal with me. So the stuff that Rex has said in the locker room, I can't even re really repeat on Periscope right now. What's wrong with Detroit? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think they're kind of... Oh, they're one of those fun. They're one of those funny teams, man. They just, I think they still find their way, man. Ever thought of coaching? No, nah, I got too much going on between, you know, family, businesses, TV. I got too much going on. Somebody reported you for saying chopping it up. Do I root for BC? Yes, I root for BC. They got their first ACC win in what 12, 12 games. So. Yeah, I root for BC. That's always home team for me. How's Nicole? Good, good. Healthy? Listen, as long as you're healthy, you're good. So, holding it down. Yeah, Hard Knocks was fun, man. I, you know, I always, I always say to this day, man, Hard Knocks, our episode of Hard Knocks with the Jets was the best, was the best uh, season of Hard Knocks. Who's the most disappointing player on the Jets this year, in my opinion? Wow. Um, listen, when you're three and five, there's a lot of people. Um, you know, Revis hasn't played well. Um, man, there's a lot of people, man. A lot of people. I thought Fitz would have played better this year. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Mo a pass, man, because I you know I don't know if Mo is um I don't know if Mo is completely healthy. I think his his that injury from last year is still bothering him. <clears throat> yeah, the, these tie these tie rules, man. Nobody wants to see a tie. This isn't soccer, man. I need a dub. I don't want to see a tie. I think that's part of the reason why you're seeing you know the the uh, ratings going down this year, man. It, it's just you're not seeing really good football right now. Listen, I got too much respect for Revis. He obviously he's not playing up to, you know, the Hall of Fame level. But, you know, I've always said, man, Father Tom is undefeated. He wears the championship belt all the time. So, you know, I think this is what you saw in 2009. That was that was a, a Hall of Fame type season. We won't see that again for a long time. Are y'all finished or y'all done? 
I'm about to wrap it up like Birdman, man. Y'all be good.